Hello, welcome to Dungeon Dwellers Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today for Fantasy Month, we were going to review the Dragon Age, uh, the Silent Grove graphic novel by Dark Horse, but today I finally finished the Name of the Wind novel by Patrick Ruffus. This is published by um, Fantasy Daw, not Dawn. Okay. Uh, it's about... T- 10 bucks US, 15 bucks Canadian. Um, this book, I picked it up be, uh, a few years back. I don't know if it was a year or two ago. And um, I picked it up because Anime Snob did a review. And despite the fact that he, he said the book wasn't good, I, I it sounded interesting to me. But obviously, it's a long ass book. <laughs> too long, in my opinion. It's like. 722 pages so I kind of uh, held it off for a while um, it's part of the King Killers uh, King Killer Chronicle and there's only two books and there's like a third book but it's a side story uh, he hasn't put out the third book yet for the um, for the trilogy so this came out 2007 by the way so I'll get into what the story the book is about before I get into my critiques I actually wrote notes for this book because it took me like uh, I think I wrote it down here I don't know how long it took me to read it took me 14 days to read um, so the story is it's set in a fantasy world uh, it takes place during the present there's this character named Clove. Uh, how do you pronounce how do you spell it uh, it's K V O T H E. Cloth. I don't know if, how you pronounce it. Cloth or something. Cloth. Uh, who is this mage slash warrior who's in hiding uh, because he he's wanted, right? And it's implied that he he did a lot of great things in his young life, despite the fact he's 25. Uh, I think they said he was 25. So, like, he's in hiding, he's running um, this in, this inn called the Waystone Inn together with his um, fairy apprentice, Bass, who's, like, hi- who's a fairy who's hiding out as a human, uh, who uh, is being taught magic by the main character, Cloth, right, who's going, who goes by the name Coat. And they, I think they said coat means something, but I forgot what the fuck it meant. Uh, there's a lot of uh, languages, you know, fake languages here and there, and the meaning of names and shit. Um, what happens is um, somebody finds him who knows who he is. He's this noble who um, is, who's, uh, <laughs> who's um, calling in life is that he's a chronicler. Who, who goes around uh, checking uh, rumors, writing stories here and there. He also um, he also wrote a book called the what was it called the common the common main uh, habits of the Dracus, which is mentioned several times throughout the book. So um, he uh, he was able to convince Cloth to not kill him. <laughs> And tell him his life story, which, which he told uh, the 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 guy uh, chronicler uh, that it would take three days. Hence, why the first book is called Day One, and the second book is Day Two. Uh, day One being the name of the wind, Day Two the wise man's fear. It, it's called the name of the wind because the how the magic system works in this book it's very similar to well there's two styles of magic one is sympathy which is all about binding shit it's a lot like um full metal alchemist alchemy and there's the other form of magic called naming where it's a lot like the magic system in um the earth sea books which um they got Ursula K. Uh, Le Guin to um, praise the book. She wrote, uh, "It is a rare and great pleasure to find a fancy, a fantasist writing with true music in the words, 
Uh, sorry, the, the book is slightly damaged. Wherever Pat Rufus goes, he'll carry us with him as a good singer carries us through a song. So, um, a lot of the book is basically him telling his story, how he um, was a, a kid that was part of this uh, traveling trope of, you know, bards and like, you know, jesters, not jesters, uh, bards, you know, performers. Uh, they had like a sword. Uh, what was what was it? What was he? A sword thrower, and they had like a fool with them. So they were like a traveling uh, group called the Idima Ru. Uh, he was the son of the leader, and uh, his mother was uh, a noble woman who fell for the for this guy and like left left her um, family. So he's technically he's not half noble because. He, he's a bastard uh, but just I brought that up because um, anime snob like criticized the book heavily because he pretends to be a noble which is only is it's very brief that he pretends to be a noble and honestly in my opinion he kind of does a half ass well that's the thing about this fucking book is that there'll be plot holes and then the writer will notice it and then will like write an excuse like later on and he does that several times throughout the book like the book is very meta and like and it breaks the fourth wall at the end of the book which is, which is one of my fucking criticisms of the book but after that um what happens is that his family gets his dad was composing a song about these demons called the Chandrian and what ends up happening is they show up they kill everybody um, Cloth, uh, despite being having this mage, which the mages are called Arcanus, despite the Arcanus teaching him, you know, some of the magic and teaching him, the first magic technique he learns is Heart of Stone, which is which uh, makes you emp like uh, basically makes you a sociopath. <laughs> um, he could have used that. To make himself not get traumatized when he noticed his his family was like his uh, uh, tr traveling group or trope sorry <laughs> troop was uh, attacked, but he didn't do that at all. He get he just lets himself get traumatized despite the fact that the first technique he learned from his from his master uh, Abenefi. Uh, would have helped him from getting traumatized, right? But guess what? <laughs> he lets himself get traumatized, and for three years he's like um, homeless, living, uh, living in this uh, town called Tarbian. And after that, he uh, joins the university where they teach uh, magic and shit like that. So most of the book, I would say, half, more than half the book is him at the university. And there's like he meets, he becomes friends with pe pe people. He uh, becomes enemies with powerful nobles. And like throughout the book, they tell you how much of a genius this kid is, despite the fact that he keeps making dumb decisions. Well, I'll get into uh, when I get to the pros and cons. I wrote a lot of cons, but I was kind of a retard. Um, I wrote so many cons, I didn't think there would possibly be more after I was at like the halfway point. So I, I used the rest of the page for something else. So I had to jam after, uh, after a while I had to jam in more fucking complaints, uh, find space to jam in more complaints. So, so I probably have more cons than uh, I have listed here, but uh, I there was no space for them. So uh, I should mention the fact. One of the reasons why I don't like the book is because the, despite the fact that it's like this liberal, like power fantasy, and fantasy is supposed to be more of a right wing genre. Uh, if you didn't know that, it is. No offense, liberals, you can like right wing stuff too, but like, no, you probably don't. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'll just get into the pros and cons. Uh, by the way, um, 
they constantly insult there's like this religion in the book that's obviously like um an analogy for christianity and they constantly talk shit about that about the religion so like i thought the guy was a fedora tipper turns out he's not a fedora tipper he's a satanist or it could be he could be a satanist i'm not 100 percent sure but my proof of that is um on page 237 he made a satanic reference as above so below which is also a agora reference but like what makes it a satanic reference is because it's implying that heaven is the same as hell so if you didn't know that as above is so below is a satanic reference it's kind of it's i wouldn't say it's common knowledge that it's a satanic reference but there's been horror movies that like that um name themselves after that satanic phrase um okay what a, he skipped two fight scenes in the beginning of the book uh cloth doesn't use the hard stone technique i already said that um made made the world's uh magic a, more of a science which i did not like that because that makes it you know more atheistic um main character is unlikable despite being a genius can constantly makes mistakes at school constantly antagonize nobles masters alike masters being the teachers at the school uh well too too much meta shit which it was meta it's not meta in the same way that like scream was where scream was meta about horror movies but it but like here it's meta in a way that it's insults fantasy stories which is like why are you writing a fantasy book if you if you don't you clearly you don't like fantasy it's like jesus christ um breaks the fourth wall uh fourth wall near the end of the book and the character is a cuck he a, a huge portion of the book is like a romance story between him and this character who is a wanderer a city girl who like is kind of uh i, I would say they use the term she's a heartbreaker <laughs> which means she has a lot of boyfriends and this guy he like he's in love with this girl and it's like the, the writer the girl is very much let's say she's an easy girl if you know what i mean she doesn't like to stay with the same guy for too long right and <laughs> like the writer he's like 47 now he would have been like what 34 33 when he when this book came out this guy is in his mid 30s doesn't know hey um easy girls do not make the greatest fucking girlfriends okay for obvious fucking re reasons i don't want to get into MGTOW and like red pill shit but it, it's a well-known fact the more sexual partners a girl has the less like the less um likely the relationship with her is gonna last especially in marriage and he and the main character would constantly hang out with um with with the with this chick while she's hanging out with her boyfriends and shit and he writes this fucking monologue on page 709 which i'm gonna read it for you it's such a cucky fucking thing let's see here we go i have known her longer my smile said true you have been inside the circle of her arms tasted her mouth felt the warmth of her and that is something i've never had but there's a part of her that is only for me you cannot touch it no matter how hard you might try and after she has left you i will still be here making her laugh my light shining her i will be here longer after she has forgotten your name so obviously this guy this writer is a retard in the cup so i'm giving the book i was gonna give it a 6.5 because I, I i thought i did think it was well written it has interesting world building what fights there were were well done but i have to give it a six out of ten and all, obviously the guy might be a saintist so some of the fucking names in this book um when you read it don't say it out loud because it can uh attract the attention of demons so if you don't believe me 
read, read, look up the names of real demons and see what happens. Okay, bye.